Hackers don't just attack computers. These are two more or less identical Nokia phones. Both were bought from Carphone Warehouse for less than £20 a piece. Both contain SIMs from the same service provider. The black one I've been using for a while now, and it has an extensive list of contact numbers. The blue one has only just gone into service. In the mornings, I often go swimming and listen to the radio while I take the three kilometre walk to and from the pool. I can get radio on the phone if I plug in headphones. These act like an aerial in addition to enabling me to hear the radio. The black one has been hacked, and when I use it for a few minutes I hear a short burst of what sounds like interference. Sometimes the radio signal drops out altogether and I have to retune the radio. Jonathan, thanks very much. Uh, let's look ahead now to lunchtime on radio. The pay gap between people with... Critics want the government to ban the sale of British weapons in neighbouring Yemen. It was like spitting on the grave of... If I use the blue phone, there isn't any interference when I take exactly the same walk and use exactly the same headphones. The hackers haven't got to it yet, but no doubt they will eventually. My guess is that the aim, apart from being part of the general harassment campaign waged against me, is to get me to reset the black phone to factory settings. But since the contacts are on the black phone, I'd lose all that information, which might damage my business. Clients have already complained about finding it difficult to phone me as a result of previous attacks by the hackers. It's not just the phone that has been targeted by the hackers. My fairly new Blu-ray DVD player is supposed to enable me to watch the BBC iPlayer if I plug it into the internet. And whilst I've found this possible, to a very limited extent, all I get is what amounts to a crippled service. I make videos, so this is a direct attack on my business. I need to keep up to date with TV. Worst of all, a digital camera has had its software corrupted so that the hackers can use it to damage offline computers when I upload photos or videos to them. If you have had any similar experiences, please send me an email. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Bye-bye.